Good morning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama uko poa fanya hivi. Okay, kama hujafanya, it's about to change, si ndio? In Jesus name, we can have our seats. Amazing. All right. Uh, my name is Stephen Mwangi Kamau for our visitors, those who do not know me. Stephen Mwangi Kamau. I'm born again, Christ is my savior, and I am glad to be here in this place. It is my joy and pleasure just to serve right here at DCIKZ, and I want to bless the Lord even for the opportunity to be alive today. Um, I want to appreciate our bishop and our mom, Pastor Alice. Can we celebrate these people? Come on, let's celebrate them, man. Oh, even for the grace upon their lives and for allowing me to do this. And our leadership right here at Shiloh, Pastor Brian, Pastor Beatrice, Pastor Richard. Amen, amen, amen. We'll get right into it. Um, Sijui ka Paul aliwambia salimia ni bako. Salimia ni bako. Eh, uneza mgotea, uneza my five. Eh. <laughs> right, today we want to look at something. For those who are taking notes, yeah? Kama una take notes, kama u take to nisawa, because right here at Chile Worship Center, tuko na ma genius. Ama ni ajwa njala, sindio? Eh, right, and we'll be sharing on the Holy Spirit, our helper, yeah? And you can make it personal and say, Holy Spirit, my helper. And we want to look in this new year. Um, yeah, we are Kenyans. Tunasema new year mpaka. Tuisema mpaka lini? August. Mina nenda na ya wanjala. Tutasema happy new year. I mean, ata yo August kwani kuna mtuwasha yona. Akuna, exactly. Right? And we'll be looking at John 14 verse 16. John chapter 14 verse 16. That will be like our anchor verse and then we'll look at a whole bunch of verses and the Lord is going to bless us. And so we're saying in this new year, as we get to thresh the mountains, if you do not know, our theme for this year is threshing the mountains, right? Threshing the mountains. So we understand that there are mountains that need, that mountains that need to be threshed. Sindio? Kuna milima ambazo zinaitaji ku siagwa sa ku siagwa? Siagwa. Right? <laughs> Alright. And what does John 14 verse 16 tell us? And I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. So these are the words of Jesus to his disciples. But let us go back a bit. Let us start from John 14 verse 13. And then we'll read verse 12 and then go back to 16. So John 14 verse 12, 13, then 16. Right, it says, most assuredly, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this he will do because I go to my father. So we are saying that at least it's a good thing that Jesus went to heaven. How many of us agree? Okay, if you do not agree, it is an important thing that the Lord, that our Lord Jesus went to heaven. Because again, because of him going to heaven, we get to have the Holy Spirit living in us. And him never departing in our hearts. Right? And he says, He says, The works that I do, he will do also. But... Pale kuna ka condition. I say to you, he who believes in me, so not just anyone, but us who believe in him, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than this he will do, because I go to my father. Verse 13. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the father may be glorified in the son. Napo tukidogo, tu pause hapo. Sema, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do that. The Father may be glorified in the Son. Tukiomba, sema, oh, the will of God. But I pray that we'll make prayers that, we'll ask God things that we know they will give God the glory. Sindio? Mina jotu kuna kitu enye ni kiomba, 
hapo hakuna glory hiyo nani uongo right najua tu hii naitisha ndio nitese eh <laughs> amen but the things that you truly know that this enye god will glorify you hallelujah amen let us go now to verse um, 16 and see what it says He's, and i will pray the father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever so it says jesus is telling them i am going to pray to god to give you another helper so jesus at that time was helping these disciples right alikuwa pale hivyo peter tu amejama amekata mtu masikio sema satu acha tu nikusamee aka akarudisha he was helping these guys to walk Jesus was 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 really really um intentional about their lives and how they were living. And now he's telling them guys si waachi hivyo jisa waliona eh hata tutatoa wapi nini 5000 baskets of food zitatoka wapi you know because now he's going. Jesus walikuwa amemzoea akitana tuma miracles. Wakishusha nyavu samaki wanapa wanapata. But sawa naona this person who used to help us is leaving. But then he's encouraging them and telling them I will pray to my father to send you another helper. Right? Okay. And in John bus chapter 14 25 and 26. John 14 25 and 26. Says these things I have spoken to you while being present with you. This again are the words of Jesus to his disciples says these things i have spoken to you while being present with you verse 26 but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring you to your remembrance all things that i said to you apa jesus alijua tu awa say watasahau watasahau watenda wakipiga watu huko wakiambia ni uokoke ama You know but he's telling them that I will send you a helper to remind you what I have taught you to remind you the things that I say to you while here on earth and even as we look at as we ask God Lord that as we thresh these mountains we ask Lord that we are not doing it on our own but Lord please give us your holy spirit fill us with your holy spirit may we depend on your holy spirit to help us thresh these mountains because we cannot do it on our own we cannot do it on our own we're going to look at the story of samson and just to see that the things that he did surely enye si ate alikuwa ameunga sana ujama hata david surely kijana mdogo hata it's not realistic kuwa simba bro i make sense right wewe njalo unaweza kuwa simba you see but let us see what judges um 14 verse 5 says judges 14 verse 5 says so samson went down to timnah with his father and mother and came to the vineyards of timnah now to his surprise a young lion came roaring against him next and the spirit of the lord came mightily upon him pause and the what the spirit of the lord came upon him hakuna male tunaambia umsi alikuwa na workout hakuna and he tore the lion apart as one will have torn apart a young goat i am an actor so i think i take those words akachukua simba akai akai tarua you know like it says like a young goat not even a goat like a young goat so that mean it was easy for him to tear the lion apart it was easy for him but because what it, because of the spirit of the lord that came mightily upon him and so we're asking lord just as samson lord may the holy spirit come upon us to be able to thresh these mountains let's continue um says mightily upon him and he tore the lion apart as one would have torn apart a young goat though he had nothing in his hand he had hakuwa na kisu hakuwa na spear hakuwa na fea ni mikono mitu mitupu 
says he had nothing in his hand, but he did not tell his father or his mother what he had done. And my prayer to all of us is that we will fully depend on God. We will fully depend on his Holy Spirit. Because squeeze in now to corner a million ways of doing things, right? Hmm? Number three will shock you. <laughs> Ten ways of making it to heaven, right? I don't know. Go can get to TikTok if you want to be on TikTok. See your thumb, baby. It depends on what you're watching. Sita could judge. Hey, in the youth church, Kweli. I'm not TikTok, Tunawana, or Reels. Instagram Reels. Okay. YouTube Shorts. We are bougie. Okay, none. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> or we are mature youths. Hallelujah. Right? Our world, the world that we live in right now, is full of means and ways to do things. And not ways from the Lord or from the Holy Spirit. Ways of human beings. Ways of mere man. And Jeremiah tells us that the heart of man is what? Is the most wicked thing. Yeah. Roho ya monodamu ni wicked. Imeja uongo. And then you want to trust a man. Bata uko na jokes. And you want to make it to heaven. Oh, we gotta be serious right now. We have to depend on the Holy Spirit to help us. I don't know what your mountain is, but for you to thresh your mountain, you need the Holy Spirit. You need to depend on him. The Holy, the Holy Spirit needs to just come down on you just as Samson, and for us to be able to understand these mountains. Because you know, again, when you know that you depend on God, then all the glory goes back to him. When you kijipiga kifua, kise mabas, mindi obazu. Aya, ati unastruggle bro. Mina za kusaidia, mina za kusaidia. Si ati ju unataka, I make it to heaven, unataka ase mange, hey, nani lisaidiwa na Stephen. Nani lisaidiwa. Right? Again, Judges 14, verse 19. Let us see Historia Samson in Endaje. In Anzatua Povizuria Sema, then the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. And he went down to Ashkelon and killed 30 of their men. Right? took the apparel and gave the changes of clothing to those who had explained the riddle. So his anger was aroused and he went back up to his father's house. Like in Ndomjo Samson alikuwa kiburi. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily and he went down to Ashkelon and killed 30 of their men. Unajua, wangapi wana action movies too crazy. Eh, I mean, Sijika Mnona, Kwenye Superman, Walito, Idea Yao. Is it deserted by there? When you think about it, they just. God. Hey, hey. There is nothing new under this earth, man. I mean, look at Samson. Siendo Tunambio, Anarua Lion. Umo Napim to Mingine, Akirua Lion, Kasi Superman. Sindio. Lakini Tunambio, oh, oh. Idea wa to Aqua Bible. Was it to Danganya, guys? Yes, yes, yes. So I come oh, may I don't believe in God is not real. Hallelujah. Even the world is coping. Bas. And so we're seeing, the Bible is telling us that the Spirit of God came upon him mightily and he was able to kill the 30 men who at that time were a mountain to him. Because, so Samson wants to marry this girl who is from Philistine, right? And so Anambiwa but that's a bad example. Teme yeah. I love you for wanna kusha two crazy, una juapa tu wana try kukugonga ka brade, sindio. <laughs> So now I'm Biaji. Do mini to a Ido? O riddle in a tragina kizungu. Oh, next to Ili. Niapa Jew, guys. Sikuli utajeks mama pevina angila. 
utajua Rido linaitwa jina Kiswahili mafumbo akasema fumbua hii fumbo akawaambia ai wakashindwa akasema and then and so this girl persuaded him persuaded him persuaded him akawaambia Samson akamwambia msupa kena akamwambia watu wa watu wake wakafumbua fumbo wakapata na akasema zi mimi najua dawa <laughs> he went killed this man took their goods and then akapeleka to this girl um, who he wanted um, to marry right and because it was a mountain to him at that time he had to depend on god una dhania bila holy spirit umsiange wa wasetati zi wangemua so again i say i don't know what your mountain is but you need to depend on the holy spirit to help you hallelujah amen and so and even with samson we're seeing that him realizing that god is his helper he knew he had backing and so he was courageous he didn't fear umsel go and apo to row ju akijua i have backing there's a song by victoria renz says i get backing says i walk with god the father walk with god the son walk with host of angels you know we are walking in faith we are walking in courage knowing that we have someone who is backing us right even these mountains that we are facing because in isaiah also tells us that fear not fear not so these mountains that are just high and zinakatu gigantic that they can finish us the lord is telling us oh man i've got your back man you know you can depend on me to be able to thresh these mountains hallelujah hallelujah amen and so the bible records and says and the spirit of the lord came upon him meaning that minus the spirit of god samson would have never done what he did because again the bible is very intentional if he wouldn't have done it by the holy spirit then it would have been recorded otherwise sindio tungeambiwa samson because he was very built and he used to jog in the morning and he used to lift weights and he used to do cardio and hizo vitu zote huo mwaka bidhe na kuwa fit and kukuwa fit si ndio <laughs> amen amen and so he would have never conquered the mountains that he faced and you and i need to depend on the holy spirit to to, to thresh the mountains and we need to stop coming up with our own ways of doing things we need to ask god for the solutions we need to stop thinking and overthinking we live in a generation where we have made it okay for some of these things i mean i'm an overthinker and we've made it part of us no 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 to stay ke ni kweli juma sema eh mr stephen mimi kuniambia mimi i always overthink tumesema ni persona personality but the lord created us to depend on him the lord created each and every one of you who is here to depend on his holy spirit there is no way it has been written the lord created an overthinker right i mean he is the solution giver man so why do i have to tari and kusumbuka akili silali eh tunalala amka bado yesu anapepe you know man it's I mean kwanza sai you have a lot wangapi tuko campus okay kwani uko at somangi okay unafanya kazi ai atufanyi pia kazi hey pastor wewe okay kazi biashara yote okay uko shule uko kazi ya uko kazi wewe inua mkono sawa <laughs> right we have a lot we have a lot a, so where do we even get time to overthink you know the free time that we get is for the lord to minister to us ukiwa pale hivyo tu kwa bafu records ni god akuministerie kwa shawa yani i was sharing with one of my friends i can't remember who but i was telling them in the shower i think is when i think most hapo ndo nina make life decisions zangu man the wise and the foolish decisions cuz i mean there's nothing distracting me okay okay nini ina ku distract au hitaji ku 
kuconcentrate unajua ukifanya hivi atimaji <laughs> eh unajua ukifanya hivi hiyo mkono mara mbili ushangara au hitaji ati uangalie hivi ati uconcentrate so your mind is you know the free times that we get is for us for the lord to minister to us for us to just remember for us to dwell in his presence right hmm? for us to meditate upon his word ju tunatoa wapi time ya ku meditate hmm? ukiwa kwa mat hiyo ndio hiyo si time tu unakula na stress una overthink una overthink una overthink z z and i want for us just to ask god lord these things that we have made it normal we have normalized we have normalized we have normalized, we have normalized. Indeed, we have normalized these things that we've taken from the world and we've made it part of us saying that, oh, I'm like this. But I'm here to tell you that God did not create you that way. Ask Him. You ask the Holy Spirit to reveal unto you. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. And we want to look at Psalms 121. I'm going to look at verses. Leo Psalm 121 verse 1 and we'll read the whole chapter. All right. So uyu ni Davi and uh, these are the words of David, right? And he's saying tutasoma. 1 2 3 go. I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth he will not allow your foot to sleep he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly right the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade on your right hand the sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will guide your going out and your coming in in everything that you do from this time forth and forever. There's something that is being highlighted. Verse 5 says, the Lord is your keeper, not your watchman, not the government, not your finances. It says who? The Lord. Verse 7 again starts by saying, the article there. It means there's no other. Or say, oh, you end on a the. You You know, you, the Nairobi school. Kusema, yani kutuwanyesha tu, sisi wa sijui secondary, sijui o oh, ile shule ya pali vyo kwa kona, kwa juu ya ploti. Nika tu kuenda shule, I am here to tell you, to encourage you that do not be discouraged. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's telling us that there is no one. It is only the Lord who is our keeper. There is no one else but who? The Lord. Verse 8 says, the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. The Lord, we are depending on the Lord. We are depending on the Lord. And trusting him is not an easy thing. Trusting God is not an easy thing. But is it impossible? No. No. We are seeing it, we have seen it with our own eyes of people who have trusted the Lord and the Lord has come through for them. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but maybe you have trusted God for something and you surely know unajua hiyo. You are the same to mwingine. Uyo ni God. Ato kiulizwa, unajua tu, huyu ni mungu. And we are asking the Lord Lord, because we realize, you know, Pastor Brian told us, Altema, step we are kwanza ya ku pata usaidizi ni, ni kuitikia unaitaji usaidizi. Telling Lord, 
Okay, we are surrounded, we live in a world that is full of other solutions. We can easily find ways to do a lot of things, right? But we're telling him, Lord, please help us. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Jesus, you who said that he's going to be our helper, may he help us today. May he help our generation. May he help our generation to live for the Lord, to be faithful, to be young men and women of integrity. Oh, no one is perfect. And we use it as an excuse for us to be complacent. For us to continue living in sin. Do not judge me. <laughs> Only God can judge me. Wait. Guy. <laughs> Eri binadamu juu ata nini ni ato peleka api kamiti kwa ni utakuva mungu ai bana kuna akisha akisha sema ni hivo final at least judge aneza aneza sahau makarata si yako ya koti ineza kunywa maji ipote system ineza haki wa usamewe but you want the Lord to judge you eh hey, bwana no z well for me no. And so we are telling Lord, I'm depending on you. I want to trust in you. I am relying on your Holy Spirit to help me. Lord, I accept. I accept that my ways are just pathetic. My ways are just bad. And be okay, Mungu na jotu enye si ombangi. Mimi sema nitaomba. It's my New Year's resolution. Nime set alarm ya 4 a.m. na jiongelelea mi bethe. Nimeset alarm ya 4 a.m. ni amke but ni na snooze na amka 7 hiyo time ndo nafanya toke kwa nyumba una thani god ajui unalala unalala bro unalala si god anajua analala but even when i tell him ati oh ni nilikuwa nimechoka mungu anajua sikuwa nimechoka god knows i'm not at this point where i just enjoy being in his presence he knows. He knows I'm not yet there. He knows I want to get there. So let, let us be real with God, guys. Be real with him. Ask for help. Ask for help. island. Anachora. Help kubwa. Ndiyo msa kiwa maali amche. Amcheki. Lakini si tunata kwandika. Ka help kadogo tunafanya hivi. Enyata mtu aiziona. Cry out for help, man. Cry out for help. Guys, let me preach to the guys, yeah? We need to cry out to Jesus. It is not a sign of weakness to depend on God. Because I know we are in a society whereby I, I've, got, I've got it sorted, you know. I have my things I have my life in plan. E bwana unahitaji Yesu. Kama kuna mwanaume kando wa kumwambia bwana unahitaji Yesu. Unahitaji Roho Mtakatifu. I mean and to all of us, everyone. Yeah? We all need the Lord. Haya. Tuangalie tungine mwenye um Pastor Washo preached on last Sunday about David. So let's go to 1 Samuel 17:45. First Samuel seventeen forty five. And let's see that even David, for him to kill Goliath, see at Yalikua sharp shooter evil. See at Yalikua sniper. Well, Alikua, but it was coming from somewhere. <laughs> All right? It was coming from somewhere. In a Zema, first Samuel seventeen forty five, it says, Then David said to the Philistine, He said, Again, we're seeing here that we also have to tell the enemy the truth, right? Like we have to say it to him. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. 
Tunaambia shetani wewe unanikujia na drugs, alcohol, porn, corruption, lies, theft, crime, procrastination, laziness. Wewe wewe she wewe kuja nazo tu ni sawa because that is all he can come with ama unataka kuja na nini righteousness hana you know again but i come to you in the name of the lord Amen. nowhere does he mention his sling or his five stones rather ka one stone eh but i come to you in the name of the lord of hosts the god of the armies of israel whom you have taunted we are telling the enemy oh you're coming to me with this thing i am coming to you in the name of the lord i am coming to you with the backing of the holy spirit because that is how we fight our battles you know we are not backing down Pastor Washo told us last Sunday that warriors of the kingdom ai awa goi goi bana awa atusleki we are charging forward not with pride get that not with pride but we are confronting and charging forward with the name of the lord with the holy spirit because that is how we thresh our mountains that is how we overcome that is how we fight the devil that is how you fight for your family that is how you fight for your friends and for our generation and for our nation it's high time we stop complaining that oh ye generation ye generation no go kwa your generation what are you doing about it you know asi lazima kwe pasta bro si lazima tu kwe askofu si must ibwe ni mse wa bis haleluya ian eh kama nakujua nitakutumia tu by chance omba sana kimu <laughs> right maybe when ni mse wa bis and even in that area of your calling Oh, you can minister to the world. I was sharing with another brother yesterday. We just met apa Rwisambu. And I can't say wewe una manejaje kukwa. Nikwambia ni ni gaimani. Ni unaona ile tunasema ni God. Wacha na hiyo jokes. Ni God. Like ni God. And I was telling him for different people the Lord will use you differently. Yeye ana uzanguo. God anaweza mtumia vyo vyote. He just needs he just needs to ask the Lord. Lord so what is my assignment here on earth? You know, what is my purpose? Lord how do I impact my generation? Because utatafuta chance nayo. Une unaweza kosa manze, but maybe hapo utapata cause I mean atuko wengi sana. But kama sema unaenda tu unajua mega church unajua hizi mega church wewe ni wa huko na unakao hata pasta hakujui utaipata chance lini uhubiri but ask the lord anaweza kuambia ah jeambu ukiingia pale kwa zuri omba ruhusa ubiri you need to ask the lord don't look at just one way of ministering and say i need to my pastor and one of our impact the world na my missionaries na my evangelist na my apostle even you in your in the marketplace you can impact the world you can change your generation you are able to thresh the mountains that are there amen amen kama uko hapa na unawaka kwa gava eh bana wewe ndo unafaa ukiambia Lord what is my assignment apart f- from me bragging that I work for the government well I don't know if that's something to brag about I don't know or apart from being paid well I mean waso gavana lipo vizuri wana kanjwa well depending on where you're working <laughs> it is relative apart from that ask the lord why have you put me here in this office a 20 politician ask the lord 
Ask the Holy Spirit. Because in that field, in that career, there are mountains that need to be threshed. In your campus, when is your chairman, when is student leader, when is nani, you need to ask the Lord, these mountains that are in this school, how, are, how am I able to thresh it? Parents, in your family, you need to ask the Lord. Don't try and come up with your own solutions. As we're here and we're taking care of our siblings and our parents as well and our family and our friends, you need to ask God. Hallelujah. 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 Isaiah 41, 13 to 15. Iva sutai kichwa. Sema, for I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, you warm Jacob. You men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth, you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. I don't know. Put that picture in your head. A mountain being brought down to chaff. Chaff si o mawe ni... Okay, kanisa ni safi. I am sorry even for looking for chaff here. But ni, ni ndogo. Very small. We have to Pia God akona a sense of humor. Sindio. Jumlima. Itakuwa je chaff. Ata zile milima volcano who erupt. Si uba kitu kishimo kuna chwa kikreta. Ine ishanga yote. Hei ishangi. But the Lord... The Holy Spirit. Faith like a mustard seed can move a mountain to the sea. That is what my Bible tells me. And that is what I'm choosing to stand on. To stand on the word of God, which is alive, which is truth. Isn't just in Guinea again ten ways? As this idea. Si tumezijaribu. Bayashua wangapi wamezijaribu. Ten ways to stay sober. Sorry. Ten ways to not listen to secular music. Umezidelete. <laughs> Uka download tena. <laughs> hey mungu wangu. Ume download your app. <laughs> Sasa jua iku deletiwa from. Uka install tena. We need the Holy Spirit. We need to depend on Him. We need to depend on Him, friends. We need to depend on Him. He ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. To seek where we share on amge na juam genim starabu ana knock atatu ata uski ana. Na kwanza hata anaenda na simama huko mbali. Kwa wale anabisha nikaa askari bana. God you got to open this door like yesterday because if you don't I'm going to die. You know. God I want to see heaven so open this door. Lord open this door. Kidogo na nseme. Okay, I watch a lot of action movies. Ingi uko kao ma FBI. You know. <laughs> Bisha yo mlango. Bisha. And the good thing is that atubishi na mkono so auta, auta umia knuckles. Njufu na sema unajua o stivo utabisha, utabisha, utoke damu, na sisi ni binadamu. Hey, you see what I did there? <laughs> Sikuwa ni mepanga, baby. We are ni good. <laughs> right? We have to depend on him. We have to be persistent. We have to tarry. Oh, man. Sijui, uh, I think Saina Joy. It's a lie just from the enemy. Kuches the bag to chase. 
utachase your bag utaichase itakimbia utaichase utachoka utakunywa luko z glucose ui chase the bag na iko na mbio kuliko inatoka take yani kama we unaikimbia 50 km per hour hiyo iko 150 utawaishi kalini lakini when we are told towards when we are told to run towards righteousness potanta kujoga ai mungu nimechoka mimi hata sikimbi nasema at the wicked run when no one is bwana run towards jesus run towards jesus let us persist let us persist no on that door no on that door no on that healing no on that redemption until we see victory and when will we see victory when we leave this earth hallelujah until we meet our lord and savior but as long as you're in this earth as in umeamka oh i say my today is another day in the battlefield you know juisa farisi na ishatuki chomoka i mean it's inevitable sorry but sasa ntadukwa ni mimi all of us will die but ni uamuzi wako if you will spend eternity with the lord or not whether it is up to you if you're going to thresh the mountains god has already done his part when he died on the cross and he said that it is finished oh that was for real it was finished and today i just want us to ask the lord that lord you will fill us with your spirit that lord you will help us to rely on your understanding and not on my own understanding and we can be up standing on our feet and just make that prayer to the lord that lord help me today help me to rely on you jesus fill me with your holy spirit that of god tells us that ask inatuambia kwamba that if you ask your father for bread atakupea mawe or meat akupe kinyo kama so if our earthly fathers know how to give good things what about our heavenly father when we ask that lord fill us with your spirit today It is possible friends it is very possible for you to thresh that mountain I am bringing good news to you today that it is possible to thresh that mountain I don't know the mountain I have my own mountain you have your own mountain and you need to thresh it this morning this year we need to go into the battlefield boldly fully armored with the holy spirit with the word of god which is truth which is life father we thank you today and we asking jesus that you're going to fill us with your spirit jesus we ask lord today that you are going to help us Lord even when we get weary we ask Lord that you will renew our energies to get back on our feet and continue running this journey of salvation we will continue running towards you we will continue keeping our faith and putting our trust in you Jesus help us holy spirit we cannot do it on our own you cannot do it on your own Lord I cannot do it on my own I need you Jesus I need you Holy Spirit. Set me free today. Set me free from my thinking. Lord, set us free from our understanding. Lord, set us free from the ways of man. Set us free from the shackles of the enemy. Lord, set us free.
Set us free from darkness and bring us into the light, Lord. Holy Spirit, feel us till our hearts overflow. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your truth, Jesus. Shakaya namakaria. Are you there and you're just saying that, Lord, oh, I want you to fill me. Lord, I want you to fill me today. Lord, I want you to fill me today. You can just lift up your hands to the Lord and make that prayer. The Lord, I want you to fill me today. To be able to thrust these mountains, Lord, I need the backing of your Holy Spirit. I need to rely on your word. I need to rely on your spirit. I need to rely on you, Jesus. I need you to walk with me day and night. In the noontime, in the afternoon, in the midnight hour, in the morning hour. You need to walk with me, Jesus. Jesus, because alone I cannot do it. Because on my own, the enemy will devour us, Lord. On our own, the enemy is going to take advantage of us, Lord. And so we need you today. There's some of us that the Lord is encouraging us this morning. And he's saying to you, my child, I am going to walk with you. Just depend on me. Just rely on me. Just read my word. Just continue trusting. Are you here and you have not said yes to the voice of the Lord unto salvation? You're saying that, okay, I want to experience the Holy Spirit. You can only experience Him if you've given your life to Christ. You can only experience the power of the Holy Spirit if you have given your life to Christ. He is not an item to be bought. He is not an achievement to be gained by your works. He is only attained by you giving your life to Christ and submitting yourself unto the grace of God. So are you here and you're saying, I am here and I want to give my life to Christ. I want to walk with the Holy Spirit. You can raise your hand. Or better yet, you can just come to the front and someone is going to pray with you. You can just make your way to the front. You know it and you hear that the Lord is calling you today. He's calling you today. He's convicting you. You feel it so heavy in your heart that, oh, I need, I need some rest. And the rest is only found in Jesus. By giving your life to him. By giving your life to him. Shakalaba Zakaria. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. And we ask that we will be able to walk in your light. We will be able to walk in your victory. Because victory is available. Victory is here. Freedom is here. You have already break you have already broken our chains you have set us free to fight the enemy to thresh the mountains that are before us you have told us not to fear you have told us not to rely on our own understanding and so we make that choice boldly in courage and not in pride that you are our savior and you are our ebenezer our ever-present help so father we thank you and we worship you in this place in jesus name in jesus name come on celebrate jesus amen